so yeah so going towards the end uh, what is one thing that you like and one thing you dislike about the master's program in tu and hoven data science okay uh, i i absolutely love my university it's amazing so it's it's so so nice in so many ways i mean i don't repent a single percentage of coming here and doing this masters i'm i'm happy i'm full fulfilled in every way possible um uh the city is good the country is good uh, the people are really nice i've never had any problem um anywhere almost uh, i don't know if you should add no racism as such i i didn't feel anything like that i i also always say like i've never faced any yeah, and it's, the best thing i like is the language like english yeah and it's such a nice country i mean people are really nice these people are so nice man and it's so easy to start a stru- strike a conversation with anyone on anything and they will always smile and talk to you you'll never fail to find any kind of hatred or anything like that and since i'm delivering by uber i meet a lot of people in my work even and in restaurants and normal people i never felt anything like that even after meeting so many people so yeah that's that's great i have no no sadness or qualms in in that sense uh like the only thing i would mention i i want you to hear this is they do not record the courses uh so generally what happens is when you are sitting in the classroom and when they are teaching something things go so fast and like you just have 40 minutes one half and another 40 minutes of another so we we have uh one and a half hours or one hour 20 minutes of classes with a 10 minutes break and it's like 40 40 minutes chunks or 45 45 minutes chunks with a 10 minutes break in between and it's a lot of information which is thrown in that time so they have to finish a course in 8 weeks and they have a prerequisite of to top topics to cover so a lot of information comes and it is impossible to absorb everything like you will not know in everything you will not understand everything and it's so much nicer if the courses are recorded and you can refer those lectures uh, later on and um, uh, and then like your learning will be way better in that way uh, i understand because the why university doesn't do that is because once they start recording people stop coming to classes they just are lazy and they do it later on which is one of the reason they don't want it also there are some proprietary information which university doesn't want to uh, publish uh, these are some of the reasons but i would love if all courses are recorded uh, and uh, in q4 like last year because of covid every class was recorded and i was so much happier that way because i learned so much and in that sense i think covid helped to me and i also scored the best in q4 compared to all the four courses so far uh, so yeah and and another plus if i'd like to add i think tu managed the whole covid situation and online classroom so well i mean in one week they were set up with every teachers and examination that was like one week and then we had two exam weeks and they did it everything so smoothly we never faced any problem at least me or most of my friends didn't maybe one person one was so they did a great job Okay so do you want to give any final advice or tips to the incoming aspirants who want to do masters in data science in TU and Oven Yes so um it is very hard to pay the tuition fees and living cost as an indian national and study in any european university or even us though europeans are cheaper but even then it's expensive so i would suggest like doing job is nice to have some income of your own and uh, so to save money if anywhere in your plan in your mind you have this plan to to go it it really helps to save money like party a bit less if you are uh, thinking that way i these are some of the things which i didn't plan very early i kind of suffered i if i saved a bit more because i was earning pretty decent but i didn't save a lot of money and uh, i had to take a bank loan but bank loan is a loan it's not your own money so you have to pay the interest like you cannot avoid it they will keep chasing you unless you pay it so uh, 
So it's like you are paying even more later on, which is not a good idea. It's best to come study, like increase your knowledge with your own money than with anyone else's money. So try to save, uh, earn more. Um, yeah, and I feel, I kind of feel that two years of work experience is ideal for a ma- master's transition. I was a bit late. Uh, I don't really uh, repent that because uh, I learned a lot in that remaining war- um, time. When I was in Bangalore, I made great friends and that, that short period of time. So I don't really, uh, I'm sad that I made spend one more year, but ideally I feel two years is a pretty decent timeline and a lot of my Huawei colleagues did a two year uh, and then transitioned to masters and uh, what else yes um, so I don't know if many people know this but in Netherlands as far as I know and heard there are, there is no interest on student loan and yeah okay I think I mean I people also ask me about this so whatever I know when you are for the first two years master's, I don't think you are allowed to take loan as an international in okay. Netherlands. Okay, okay. Whatever I know, like okay. I don't think you can take that loan. Maybe once you have a PR, I think maybe it changes, like because people take the mortgage and buy a house. But mm-hmm. initially, when studying as an international, like non EU, I think it is not possible. But don't but, quote me for this, but. And, and there, there, there is no, uh, what do you call it? Uh, there is no interest, right, in student loan that that you are pretty sure about. I'm not sure about that also, okay. but I've heard it is really low. Like maybe it is zero or maybe zero point something. Like yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And also one thing is like they pay also less, right? Like two thousand five hundred something per year that you send fee for Europeans or the Dutch, yeah, and yeah. we pay good. like nine times or eight times more than what exactly. they pay. Uh, yeah, so I I just feel that. Two years masters are really important, so uh, don't go for the masters. Generally, in US and Canada, also in UK, they do it by with nine months and then three months of internship. Like I personally feel, you learn very less in that time. Like you'll spend huge chunks of money. It's not that you're spending any less, but you learn less. So, but ultimately, you should value the knowledge which you're getting. And I would suggest to go for a two years masters, and that was. Also, one of the reason I didn't go to the shorter masters, I preferred all the two years one now in my short listings. Yeah. Okay. So I can totally agree to this point because in my time I was looking for direct PhD after bachelor's in India because European countries don't offer that, but in US it was possible. Uh, but after doing masters here and st- doing the master thesis and then learning a lot of things which I struggled in the beginning of my thesis. Uh, I kind of realize now maybe because I didn't have that maturity at that time that it is really essential to have that background which we don't get in bachelors in India whatever I know so I would advise you don't run after always thinking about saving time and getting a degree in a very short age or uh, very fast because sometimes doing things faster is not the ideal way to do so yeah I mean what's the hurry like <laughs> like if you're good in something people are gonna pay you and what's the reason like we try to be good and money is money becomes a side factor later on if you're good enough right isn't it i think yeah uh, thank you uh, uh satyaki for giving such a lovely time on the weekend for this nice interview and yeah. uh, if you like this video then don't forget to smash the like button share this video help each other out share the knowledge and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet uh, so in the next video which will be a very short video we'll discuss like the main points about living and housing options and the rough estimated expenses so stay tuned for the next video and till take care till next video goodbye